Hello my loves and welcome to the first ever, the first ever fashion food cocktails video ever. Okay, I've never done a fashion food cocktails video ever ever before, so this is my first one. So this is just a quick roundup of the fashion news that's been going on this week. And maybe a couple weeks before, you know what I'm saying? Relate to the party, but when we always show up. Uh, so yes, let's get into it. So Recently, we just saw that Harper's Bazaar has a cover, has put Megan Thee Stallion on the cover of their, um, what is it, April issue of the magazine, I think. <sighs> Let me tell you something, okay? I'm going to say this right now. I subscribe to Harper's Bazaar. I don't subscribe to Harper's Bazaar US because this is the Harper's Bazaar US. I don't subscribe to Harper's Bazaar US. I have subscribed to the UK one. And to be honest with you, I'm not here for this because the reason why I even subscribe to Harper's Bazaar is because I feel like the editorials are way better than Vogue. I'm going to say right now, the editorials on Harper's Bazaar always bring it. Everybody knows that the only Vogue that brings the editorials that really lifts it is Vogue Italia. The rest of them Vogues, they ain't doing nothing for me. Okay, so Harper's Bazaar always brings it. I'm not going to lie, this this current month's UK version is called Kerry Mulligan. It's very boring. But let's talk about Megan Thee Stallion being featured on the front cover of Harper's Bazaar and the girls are gagging, they are mad, they are not happy because once again a fashion publication has got a photographer who doesn't know how to really get the you know angles of a black woman with the brown skin like you need to get the you know the right lighting, you need to get the right editing because them pictures were lackluster for a cover, for a cover I was like no this ain't cute. And let's not even talk about the fact that um, Vogue already got in trouble. You know, people were talking about Vogue a few weeks ago because they had the Kamala Harris feature and she was on the front cover. And that was the most boring front cover of a magazine, a fashion magazine. Okay, that looked like a people's magazine cover, not Vogue. But then saying that Vogue for me, especially Vogue US, it doesn't have the greatest like editorials and like the pictures to me are never that great. They're just not. Um, especially since Grace Coddington left and it's not that good. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion and that's just that. I mean, let's even look at one of these pictures. It is horrendous. It is horrendous. Like, like, sis is not even happy. Her face, everything doesn't look good. The angles, the lighting is not that, it's not the best. It's not terrible, but it's not the best. But like, I would like to know who was the, um, creative director behind this because you missed the mark sweetheart okay and apparently Megan the Stallion when she posted the pictures of Harper's Bazaar that of the her Harper's Bazaar cover on her Instagram she edited the pictures that she posted on there and the one that she posted on her Instagram are way better than the ones in the magazine <laughs> what does that say excuse me Harper's Bazaar get your shit together <laughs> okay get it together ASAP <laughs> Hey, speaking of ASAP, speaking of ASAP, LVMH has dropped Rihanna's Fenty Fashion. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't here for the clothes. The clothes are just not my style. This is not. I'm not very out there with the fashion like that. I'm not. I mean, this is the most. I'm. This is out there. This is out there for me. Orange. <laughs> I'm not out there, I'm very like muted, like black and grey, so you know, she did her little, she had a little fashion line, Fenty Fashion with LVMH, who also own Fenty Skin, Fenty Beauty. Um, it's now being closed because the sales have been really bad, I mean, she only opened Fenty Fashion like in 2019, um, the sales have been really bad, and, like, no one's really, you know, buying her stuff. I've looked at the price point, I'm not going to lie to you, I mean, it's not cheap, it's Rihanna, so it's not cheap, okay? Um, but like she had a really cute collection with uh, Amida, Amina Muadi, because she's a great, she, she designed some of the most beautiful shoes, the most beautiful. and she had a collection with her and like nobody even knew about it. Honestly, I feel like Fenty Fashion has flopped because the marketing side is not good. Because we see, I see Savage Fenty everywhere I go, I see Fenty Beauty everywhere I go, Fenty Skin everywhere I go, but I don't ever see Fenty Fashion. I don't see her shoes and stuff like that. 
so I don't feel like it was marketed that well, it wasn't pushed that well, so LVMH have decided to put a pause, well they said a pause, so maybe not necessarily close it down, but for now they're not gonna be investing that much into it and they're not gonna release any more collections for the time being, whereas they are still releasing more, you know, they're still gonna constrain skin and savage and um, beauty. Which is cool and everything. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily buy Savage Fenty, but definitely Fenty, Fenty Beauty, definitely. Okay, definitely. So that's that. Of course, we all know that Beyonce has dropped her Icy Park um, collection. I mean, you know, with the cheeks out. She got all the cheeks out now. The cheeks are out. Um, I mean, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it enough to buy it, but I like to look at it. Um, some of the some of the trainers were nice. But like I said, I like it, but I don't know if I like it enough to buy any of her stuff. Um, and when I look at the price, I'm like, I'm not paying that kind of price for Adidas. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, this is not, nah. Not for Adidas. I'm sorry. It's not a brand that I would be forging 300 pounds for 200. Not even 150. No way. The most I'll spend on Adidas, 100 pounds. That's it. <laughs> That's what I'm spending. I'm spending more than that. Sorry, Adidas is not a brand that I could really splurge. Not even Beyonce could make me splurge. I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. No, no. Moving on. Of course, this is from a couple weeks ago now, but everybody knows that ASOS has acquired Topshop, Topman, and Miss Selfridge, which is big news because that means that there's no longer going to be a Topshop, like a like actual shop. Like all the high street shops are going to be sold. So there's no longer gonna be a top shot, there's no longer gonna be a top man and Miss Selfridge. I, still, I mean I wasn't a big fan of Miss Selfridge, although I did buy a couple of things from there. I was, I was a big fan of Top Shot at one point. I love their like shoes and you know their little jackets and stuff like that. Um I mean they closed down because of bad management. And they also closed down because let's be honest, who is buying Top Shop like that these days? Like no one's buying top no one has been buying Top Shop a while because uh, their product the quality of the products went down so drastically but their prices stayed up so no one was buying that stuff so eventually their prices went down but people were still not buying it because Topshop at one point was like the cutting edge like if you remember Topshop had some of the best collaborations like Christopher Kane and all of them like back in the day Topshop was like the first people to really sort of do um, collaborations with like big designers and things like that and like H&M jumped on board and things like that I mean it's sad to see the British High Street change because all these shops are like so British like they're so so British it's one of those things people talk about like you go to the UK you go to Topshop so it's sad to see it but I'm glad the brand is still gonna be around even if it's gonna be around on um, ASOS and I hope that ASOS does a good job of them <laughs> okay and it doesn't become like an ASOS brand it still has that top shop energy if that makes sense hopefully hopefully <laughs> um thank you for watching the first ever fashion food cocktails video on my platform make sure to go to the blog to read more about the latest fashion news and runway looks and trends hopefully I'll also be doing a little Maquillage, a little makeup, a little something. Not that I know that much about makeup. I mean, I just know how to put makeup on my face. <laughs> um, and tune in next week, Sunday, for a little roundup of fashion news here on Fashion Food Cocktails. Peace.